inside the uh, car and you can see that we've got the dual cradle set up here this is the strike um, alpha cradle we've got our new cradle backs on it and it's also got a brand new generation 3 antenna and over here is a competing brand um, so this is a, a live uh, reading right now of the service that's coming from those identical antennas on top of the car um, this one the closer to uh, I suppose uh, zero is better so that is a well outperforming that one at the moment the negative 107 versus the negative uh, 95 now what we also are able to do with this software, this is called Network Cell Info, it's really great. And uh, what this sort of does is we're able to actually get a, a beam of as to where the uh, tower that we're using, so you can see it's using an identical tower. And I've also got the tower number up here, but I can see so we're actually working off an identical tower. Now we're going to drive down the beach. These things keep a, a log um, of raw data as well as a map showing uh, good service and bad as we go down. So we're going to go for a drive for a few k's here. and. Uh, We'll, we'll also be making all this uh, live data, all this raw data rather, available to you guys so you guys can see this as well. Anyway, we're going to go for a drive now and we'll check back in in a moment. Okay customers, so we've just um, come down the beach, probably a kilometre at the moment, and we're uh, just doing, hang on, there's a police thing go past, luckily we've got a legal alpha cradle here. The, uh, we've, if you can see the colours here on the map, you can see that the Strike Alpha Cradle's kept it uh, in the yellow. Now it goes from green to yellow to orange to red uh, in regards to good to bad signal. And we'll look at the competing product over here on the identical run. And I'm hoping that this colour's coming up, it's just a little bit bright here today. But that's actually gone for a yellow and then mostly orange. So uh, the, the Alpha Cradle again is outperforming and even on live data at the moment, that's getting negative 97 and this one negative 95. Okay, we'll show some more results back further down the beach. Okay, we're a little bit further down the beach now, and here's a really good example of why we believe the Alpha Cradle is the best cradle in the world for uh, reception. You'll see that uh, it's been in the yellow all the way down the beach, um, and if we go down over to this cradle over here at the moment, it's had a little bit of yellow um, spots of orange, uh, but also some dead spots there, of, uh, or almost dead spots rather, of red. Um, so that's sort of the consistent consistency uh, which we're proud of. Uh, we'll probably have one last video uh, in a little while, but we hope you like that. Okay, we've got a uh, really interesting situation here at the moment, and uh, sometimes we get phone calls from customers as you say, oh look, um, uh, my cradle's only getting one bar, and um, compared to another cradle which is getting three, and here's a really good example of a, on occasion of why. The Alpha Cradle's actually picked up the 4G LTE signal and uh, the competing brand's product here just hasn't. And in fact, our testing shows that uh, the internal passive antenna in, in this product here uh, doesn't really reflect 4G as well. So it's really interesting here that we've got a situation where there's one bar of 4G and three bars here of 2G there. I'll just bring this back up. And so sometimes uh, that can happen. Now for rural customers, one of our biggest tips is we don't think there's a massive um, there's a massive difference uh, between uh, 3G and 4G necessarily for most applications. So one of our best pieces of advice for people, if you are a rural customer sometimes, is just to go onto your phone setting and turn off 4G. If you need any help with that, you can just contact anyone at Strike or do a quick Google search. It's pretty easy on how to turn 4G off so that your phone's only on the 3G. All right, uh, thanks very much. See you later. Okay, we've just finished our road test now. 
And uh, like I said, the raw, raw data log files will be available for download uh, in the links to this video um, once we get it up. But just to finish off here, uh, the Alpha Cradle is still overperforming here. We've got a negative 93 versus a uh, negative 105 here. It's actually a negative 105 now versus negative 91. So uh, the strike's in the green and the competing product is in the orange and red there. Look, we're uh, really proud of the product. If you've got any other questions regarding the antenna, please read all of our documentation, check our videos out, and um, or if you've got any other questions, just contact your salesperson. Thank you. Customers, just a real quick final thing on how antennas uh, work. Uh, when you're positioning your antenna, uh, you need to be getting it as high uh, as possible as you can uh, on your vehicle. Um, often it's not ideal to have it on a uh, on a roof rack like this, but with the V2, it's actually a removable rack to get the screws off. So it's probably not a bad thing actually if you if you're happy to have that uh, behind on your car, use your roll bar. Most a lot of other people do. They uh, put it um, in front of the car on a roll bar. Essentially what you're doing, you've got a much bigger antenna than what's in your mobile phone. You're counting on this antenna, capturing the signal. You're going now through the line of a low efficiency, uh, a low, I mean a high efficiency low loss cable, uh, going into uh, your alpha cradle to another passive antenna that repeats uh, into the phone. Something that's really important for everyone to understand is uh, that this antenna and the, and the cradle can't magic a phone signal that's not there. So if there's no mobile phone signal where this antenna is, then it's not going to be able to do anything. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, invent a mobile phone signal. Uh, what it does is it captures mobile phone signal from a better location and translates that to your phone from a much bigger antenna. The things that affect your antenna signal are uh, atmospheric conditions, uh, moisture in the atmosphere, uh, sometimes wind direction, depending, certainly cloud cover, but then, then there's human and man made obstacles. So things like buildings or uh, really dense, thick trees, like the water in the trees. Water will stop a mobile phone signal as well. So getting that antenna as high as you can on your vehicle is what we recommend. Um, and for multi use in uh, semi rural, rural uh, applications, we don't think you'll do, you'll do anything better than Strike V2. Uh, we hope you found it helpful. Uh, thanks very much for being a Strike supporter.